Well, alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. I have something uh, really, really neat to show you. Something I've been uh, looking into and thinking about for a while. Well, I came across about 10 to 12 of these little uh, ATX computer power supplies here. These are little, uh, little 17 ampers. Let's see if I can zoom in here. 17 amp on 12, 18 amps on 5, 5 amps on 3.3. .3. And uh, I don't know why they ain't got it listed, but there's also an 8 volt that I'm, that's showing. Maybe that's the 1 amp. Well, anyway, the only downfall so far. Well, first I was, you know, I was like, I got to figure out how to make this thing work. Well, many of you that know me personally knows I'm a, you know, computer geek, man. I started programming at age 10, developing software at age 10. Old school gray hat joker, man. I don't want to use the H word, but you know. <laughs> so, you know, I got a lot of experience with computers. And uh, I understand these these don't work if you just take them out and plug them in but you know there's a couple a thing or two that you got to do to make them work stationary so y'all probably know where I'm getting at here I took one and done my thing to it figured it out it's just a quick setup right here because I was curious you know this is a 17 amp Man, I had to pull a one pill, man. Maybe maybe even a little two pill fourteen forty six box. Make it quick. The only downfall that I figured out, you know, that I found out so far is the voltage is exactly at twelve volts. Exactly at twelve. So it ain't no thirteen eight, fourteen, nothing like that. I'm gonna play around with this because uh if I could take, I'm going to play around with it. See, maybe if I could turn the voltage up inside. Or uh, even maybe do some series and to create some little bit higher voltage. Who was that? It's her. Don? It's Madonna. Answer it until I'm doing a video and I'll call her right back. Madonna. As long as everything's okay. Is everything okay? Alrighty. Okay. Everything alright? Alright, let's get on with this. Sorry about that, y'all. So I went ahead and done my little thing, and uh, this is the uh, first okay. build I ever done right. here. I'll tell you. <laughs> okay. Just let me know if everything's cool. No, she said that Matthew's going somewhere and he's going to be gone until Saturday or something. And Chris wants to know if they can come over and stay Friday night. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you about it. All right. This is the first build I've ever done. Sorry about them interruptions, y'all. This is the first build I ever done. I call it the epoxy one pill because it's held together about 80% glue, 20% solder. <laughs> but uh, this is something I'll never get rid of. But, you know, I just grabbed it real quick to do a quick test. It's a single 2879. Sorry about how ugly it is, buddy. This is a good reminder of how far I've made it, how far I've came. We got it hooked up to this ATX power supply, as you can see right here. Okay, go ahead and turn the radio on. Well, we're on the antenna, so it'd be a little noisy. We're putting about 20 watts into it as we usually are. Ah, ta 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 the computer ATX power supply solid state switcher is on. 
the variable turned all the way up. Now let's see if it can make watts, y'all. That's the big question. Go, making watts. Getting 106 watts out of 12 volts. I should have hooked the voltmeter up to this cotton picker to let y'all see. It is sitting at 12. I don't know if it's dropping or not. Let me hook this up real quick. See if I can hook this, hook this up real quick. Y'all bear with me. Put an alligator clip on this ground. One second. Put this on the hot bus, see if we get 12 volts here. Uh, right there, 11.99, 12 volts. And right, I'm gonna try to hold this with my chin and see if that drops. Oh, oh hell no, it didn't drop it. It actually increased to 12.10. Oh, the audio, the audio, the audio, 12.15. Oh, audio. Well, that's something else. I don't know if y'all seen that or not, but it actually, the voltage actually increased to 12 dot, uh, about 12 dot 15, 12 dot 15. That's pretty unique. Usually stuff like that uh, drops, but this actually what goes up, so I have to look into that. That's pretty neat. All right, y'all seeing 100 watts with a four bird watt radio swinging 20 watts. Reflect. I'll let you see this is hooked up to this. That fan is spinning. Let me turn it off. So you can see that fan stop. Alright, turn it back on. You follow the wire. Right there. Hooks up into here. Goes to the back of the amp. So you see this hooked up. All right, I'm gonna hook up my hot radio real quick, y'all. We're gonna drive about eight bird in this thing and see what, and see what happens, see if it can handle it. So y'all give me one moment. Run hooking one radio and going to the next. I actually hadn't tested this out yet, so hopefully I won't embarrass myself. <laughs> Alright, now this one's doing a lot more power. I'm gonna let y'all see this. It's doing about 45 PEP. So we're gonna we're gonna drive the heck out of this 2879 real quick, like. Dody, ody, 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 ody. So y'all see what I'm saying? Man, it's, it's driving that damn digital meter nuts. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're gonna hit it real quick. This is a little, little, little much for it. All right, here we go. There you see 133 watts out of 114.46 off 12 volts. Oh, damn! Look at that reflect. This radio must be tuned a little bit better. Or something. Look at this. Oh, choo -choo 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 -choo. oh, that's why we ain't, we ain't got nothing hooked up to it, y'all. <laughs> y'all can laugh at me. Hey, if I don't make at least uh, five little simple mistakes a day, I know something's wrong with me. Yeah, we unhooked that coax from there and went straight to there, so we feeding, we bypassing the input bird here. So we feeding straight into the back right there on out to the digital. No, oh, audio, 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 audio. 20 watt dead key, 130 watt. Let me take a look real quick at the voltage drop, y'all. I'm gonna see what it's doing now with the bigger drive. This is a big test, and y'all sitting right here watching the test with me. If I had another alligator clip, I'd hook this up so I wouldn't have to 
hold everything there. But uh, let me try to hold this with my chin here like I did last time. <laughs> that radio just took a plummet, y'all. She's still good. I don't know if y'all saw what I just saw, but the voltage actually increased up to a uh, 12.3. This is something else, man. Audio, 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 audio. So this is something else. It increased up to 12.3. So it's like the more you hit this thing, the, the voltage rises up a little bit. That's really, really neat. We all seen it right there. I did uh, two, two, two tests that I had not done before myself. We're hooking up the bigger radio to it. And then check that out make sure I just didn't damage it. But there y'all go. Computer power supply. Power in a one transistor amplifier. Maybe uh, y'all see a little combination here. Maybe some low voltage bases. Hey man, 12 volts is 12 volts. You know you ain't got the big voltage. Heck, you had have you a good base box. You ain't got to worry about. You know you can have a base box to last you forever. Let's just put it that way. Y'all have a good one, Mr. Gatekeeper. Said it, and we good, and we gone. Sorry about the unprofessionalism. This is just a purely natural, non-planned. Oh, freestyle video we keeping it real we keeping it straightforward mr gatekeeper said it poof and i'm gone